Hey everybody, um, this is Dwayne N30 here, making uh, my next video on uh, mods that I currently use. Um, the ones that I'm going to be looking at today are a couple of Chocolatey Syrups mods. Um, he's primarily known for the Fancy Pack. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that before. Um, I would use Fancy Pack, but uh, it was kind of a toss-up between that and one of the mods that I use called Better Light, Better Grass. and um, I would like to have the furniture in the game, especially put in that uh, farmhouse and all that, but uh, I really like the dynamics and the just the, the way that better light changes, at least to me, the way the shadows and the gl and the, the just the appearance of the game overall, and it was kind of, that's something I can't play without anymore, so uh, I, can, I can do without the furniture, but I do use a couple of his mods. I use uh, um, a pack called... Uh, uh, syrups tweaks, syrup game tweaks. Um, the only thing I use from that is the cheaper light stone, and I'll show you how that works in a little while. Um, it does add a couple other features like uh, faster obsidian mining, um, canopy drops, which means you can get uh, leaves and also you can get uh, apples from trees whenever they uh, uh, decompose. Um, and uh, it also allows you to uh, get cheaper, cheaper golden apples as well. But uh, I use the cheaper, the uh, cheaper light stone. It's called, and that's how I got so many light stones in my in my dam in my last video. And I uh, uh, also use his stained glass mod, and also his uh, wow, just completely spaced spawn locus. Sorry about that. I'm completely spaced out there for a second, but uh, anyway, those are the three I'm going to be looking at today, and uh, thanks for the great response on the first video, and uh, I'll try to continue making these, and uh, let's go ahead and jump in the world here, into my test world. Um, if anybody has any suggestions what they'd like to see in the next one, um, particular mod that I use that they just have a question about, I'd uh, completely open, leave a comment, and I will uh, see about making it. Let it load into the game here. I always find it hilarious whenever it's first loading into the game. Uh, you can see all the tunnels and all whenever uh, it hasn't drawn the surface textures yet. Alright, let's walk over here a little bit. And this from the last one, obviously, you see this little location that I was working on. Let me kind of get over here a little bit. Um, let's see here. Alright, so first thing I'm going to show you is the cheaper light stone. So this is the glow dust that you get from the nether. Um, normally, you would have to go into a crafting bench and fill up this entire area. It would take nine light stones, nine of these glow dust, to make one light stone, just like that. And whenever you broke the light stone, you would only get, you wouldn't get anything back. It would break just like glass. Well, the cheaper light stone allows you to put one light stone anywhere in the crafting bench, or even in your 2x2, two two, and you get a glowstone. And you can get all the glowstone you want from that. And so we'll go over here and just place one down here real quick. Drop it down. And when you break it, you also get a light stone back. So it makes it a renewable resource. And I, I really like that part of it. So, uh, so I decided to use that because I do use a lot of... Uh, I used a lot in the uh, dam over there. So... Uh, so that's his first mod. As I said, it's part of a tweak, uh, a mod. It's called Syrups Tweaks, Game Tweaks. And it allows you to, uh, as I said, cheaper light stones and a couple other mods. But the main one I use is the uh, cheaper light stones. The next one I'm going to show you is the Spawn Locust. Let me make sure I can remember this correctly. This is the Soul Sand, or the Slow Sand that you get from the Nether. It takes one in each corner. It takes four iron ingots that you make kind of like a cross with. And then you have to have a fully working compass. Drop it in the center, and you get a spawn locus. And if we take a look right now, we see that my spawn currently is over in that direction. In fact, I haven't been back to the spawn in a long time. I wandered around this world whenever I decided to make it my test world, and this just happened to be where I started doing all my tests at. But... What we will do is we will kind of just come right over, whoop, come right over here, 
right here near these uh, sugar canes or whatever, the sugar reeds. Take the spawn locust. And how about we drop it right here? And there it is. And this is uh, this isn't actually what it looks like in game. Um, whenever you first get it, I added these textures in from a different pack. Um, but uh, you can still see that it's showing my spawn spot is still over in that direction. And what this does is you right click on it, and it makes a nice little par uh, particle effect and a sound. And if you notice now, watch the compass. That is now my spawn point. And you can put as many of these as you want to around. Um, in my game, I haven't actually built any yet. Um, I'm going to put one at each of my bases or each of my locations so that if I die, if I'm closer to a base, I mean, all I have to do is just, you know, as soon as I get over to the base, like I'm coming by the farm and I'm going to be doing some work at the farm, I can just right click on it and then go do my work at the farm, do whatever I need to do. And then if I go off somewhere else, as soon as I get to my other compound or my other base, right click on that one. That way, whenever I die, I'm closer to wherever I was. Um, and I've thought about carrying them at least one or two with me and putting them up, like if I'm going to be down in a deep mine for a while, putting one at the surface so whenever I die I don't have to go, you know, all the way back from the beginning spawn point or even from the last locust, uh, Loki that you hit and then having to get go back to get all your stuff. The only bad part about this, and I, I don't know, maybe if you use the right tool or something, I've, I've tried with a mining pick before, I don't have one on me, um, I have tried with a pick before, and everything I've tried with before, whenever it breaks, you get nothing back. So that is quite an expensive thing to, to make and then uh, not get anything back from. But at the same time, it does save you, you know, that much travel if you have to, uh, you know, if you happen to die in, in an area. You know, if you have one of those close by, then at least you don't have as far to travel. So uh, that's the spawn locust. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the stained glass. Um, once again, I haven't actually put any of this in my world yet, just because I haven't decided quite um, what I want to uh, what I want to do with it. Um, you know, what pattern designs, all that good stuff, what I want to do with it. So I'm just going to make one of each. These are the different colors of dye that you can make. And I'm just basically putting one in each of these. And you can. I have seen uh, other uh, textures or whatever for the glass as well, meaning that uh, you don't have to use this one particular type of uh, frame on the glass. I have seen people that have redone it with different uh, framing on the glass, if that makes any sense. It's kind of early. I'm not really making that much sense at the moment. But uh, let me jump over here and... Uh, I'll just kind of make a stack of it here. And you can kind of see each color as I stack it up here. Oh. And it's that easy. All it is is a piece of glass and a uh, one of the uh, colors of dye. That's all it is. You put them in a crafting square. And you get the glass. Let me jump off in the water here. And there it is. And it is, you know, stained glass. Still transparent so you can see through it. Sorry about that. But at the same time, it adds that kind of texture to it. I've been waiting to see some uh, people do, like, you know, big elaborate stained glass windows with it, but I haven't seen it yet. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to probably do that, and especially in my stable, I'm going to try to pick some colors and all and change the glass in the stable wall. But that is his uh, stained glass mod. Um, since this is probably going to be a shorter video, I might actually go ahead and do another set of mods and i um, tempted to do a uh, start a let's play just see how it goes. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for my uh, next video, please post them in the comments below. Thanks a lot.